Okay, this is going to be how to create a map with uh, a latitude longitude data. Um, so here's a CSV of my fictional uh, study look, study sites um, with their latitude and longitude. Uh, and then I assigned a habitat to them and some fictional uh, number. So I opened QGIS. We're going to the data. You'll have to forgive me. My QGIS is a little uh, wonky today. We have delimited text. We locate our file. And our point coordinates, our X is longitude, our Y is latitude. This is a default to production for most um, sources. Um, click add and then close. So this is a little boring without uh, just points floating in space. So we're going to enable a base map. So um, plugins, we want to enable quick map services. Mine is already installed and it's under web quick map services. I'm going to search quick map services. Um, for a background. You could also do um, open street map. Um, or from settings, you can search for other base maps. So, um, QGIS just assigns a random color. Uh, we can change our color and we also can change the um, symbology of that. We're gonna change the symbology um, in the categories. I had a habitat type. So I'm going to use that to color my points accordingly. So from single symbol, we're gonna do categorized. I also could map the graduated circles with you know that number, so the number of like species or number um, from my uh, spreadsheet or categorized. The value is the column that has that data and then hit classify. 
if we want these to be bigger circles, we can click on the, where it says symbol. This is the default for all of them. So the size, um, Uh, even if they weren't all going to be green, I want to remove this, all others, since all of mine have um, a habitat designation and I can use the red delete button. I can also change by double click what will appear in my legend. So I can capitalize and then to click apply to install the changes. And okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these other ones, not. Maybe not. Uh, we can also label our study sites. Oops. There we go to remove. Okay, so we can label. Also to right click properties, we have labels. Right now there are no labels. We have single labels based on my site name. Should, the default should be to text. Uh, you can change the size, the font, the style, if you want bold. Um, to get a look at a spot, we can apply um, you'll see that the site is kind of on top of the labels kind of right on top of the dot. We can move that with placement by increasing the distance. And now it's offset. Um, I can also add a mask. That's a buffer. I want to enable a buffer. That's going to be to make, well, maybe not so much with these white roads, but to make the uh, name of my label stand out. Um, we can also add a drop shadow to further make our labels pop. If we had um oh call outs if you have a lot of spaces that are a lot of sites that are close together or if you're labeling something like you know the united states um and new england you know the states are very small they're very close together you can enable call out so that when you grab the label and pull it away from the map you'll actually be it'll automatically draw that line connecting your label to the place but we don't need to in this instance, so apply. Okay, uh, now I have my sites. I'm color coded. I'm going to now uh, create the layout to or the what will be um, allow me to print. So that's a new print layout. The first thing you want to do is right click to manage your page properties. Um, we're going to do a small, this is a half size sheet, um, but you can also pick if you want a, a regular size, uh, you know, eight and a half by 11. Uh, you can also enter in custom sizes if you want, but I think for this will be fine as an A4. 
then we want to, we're going to use the icons on the left side. So this, like this six, seven, six, one down, the add map. And this will be, we want to hold our mouse, our left mouse key down. We'll draw our map. Um, if you want to adjust the size, uh, to zoom in, you make the scale smaller. To zoom out, you make it larger. But unless you want to zoom in a little bit, um, then we can add a legend. This button here, if you hover, you'll get the name. And then again, draw where you want it to go. Um, you want to unclick auto update, and that will activate these icons. So I don't need the my base layer listed. I can title it legend if I want, but I don't have to. Um, my study sites. Double click on that and this becomes And to go back, it's this one here. You can change the font and the text of each of your legend if you want. Um, we can also add a scale bar. Units, um, we can also add a background. We can change this color if we think that's a little too harsh or no. A title. make up my title. Um, we can center it in the middle of this box. Um, we can also, if we want to click this button here of font to change the font and the size. Um, again, we can add you know, a background. If we had a an image for a, a locator map, you know, uh, where this, um, where my study sites are in the larger of Athens, um, I did that as a separate map earlier that you can save. In the middle, which to do again, I would work up and do a little better. When you're done and happy with how your map looks, um, you can export as a PDF.
or export as an image. So if you want to, uh, you can, we've got a few image formats. So um, PNG is not bad either. Uh, you want to do at least a resolution of 300. That will allow you to almost double it in size with it out, without it getting pixelated. And there you have it, your own map. Check, check, check. 